your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, the Mafia 5, end of the line. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a crack at it and has been supplied to us today courtesy of Disappointed Fox. So moving on to our briefing. Hope the jet lag has been kind 47. The Sapienza Mafia has decided enough is enough for the Miami mob. They are notorious for smuggling illicit materials, the aforementioned weapons, alongside immigrants from Cuba. Being a mere lake away, the Mafia have located the Godfather de la Strange, paired enforcers and close family members of the Miami mob. If they are taken out, this will ensure the downfall of the Miami mob front. 1.5 million is on the table, make it worth every cent. So moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them, with no stipulations on how we dispatch them, or what we wear whilst we do so, so we have a free map. And for today's challenge, we'll be starting as the medic, we're going to have a Seeker 1 stored up in the Kronstad storage area and we'll be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, a remote micro taser and our silenced pistol. So right from the start and off the bat we are going to abandon our post here in the medical center and make our way straight over to the Kronstad storage area where there is a shipping container which counts as a medical center of sorts. We're gonna make our way inside, lockpick the cabinet on the wall and remove the lethal syringe from within. We're then gonna retrieve our Seeker 1 and then we're gonna make our way to the Krumstad motorhome and our first target. So we're just going to crouch down, if no one's looking we can duck straight inside. We're just going to wait right here for our two targets, or our target and his colleague, to move into more favourable positions. So our target is now moving into his position, and we're just going to wait for his colleague to give up watching the TV and approach the counter on the right. And when he does, we can then shoot him with the Seeker 1. He will get sick and he will wander off. And while we're waiting for him to do that, we are going to select our lethal syringe that we've collected. And once our friend here has made his way downstairs, we can approach our target and jab him in the back with our needle. So that's target one taken care of. We're going to take his outfit before we move off and head on to our next target. And he is located up in the driver's lounge. Uh, we're not going to attempt to deal with him at the driver's lounge. We are just going to trigger his routine. So we're just going to make our way straight up there and into the driver's lounge, ah there it is, excuse me sir. So we're just going to make our way in here where the music is rather loud and our gentleman is right here. He is currently engaged in a conversation and when that conversation has finished and played itself out, he will make his way to the bathroom underneath the stands. And that's where we are off to next. So we're just going to avoid that camera as we make our way down back out into the paddock area, avoiding the horses by using the crowds. And we're just going to head straight down into the uh, underground bathroom. We're just going to grab this propane cylinder as we make our way there. 
as there is another of our targets in the area and that is him just up ahead so as we get close we will trigger their conversation and when that conversation plays out our target will go to the vending machine and his friend will approach the sinks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the gentleman to approach the sink and then we will pounce on him render him unconscious hide him out of the way and then we're gonna overflow the sink to lure our target back into this area uh, we need to do this relatively quickly as the target from the driver's lounge will now most definitely be on their way here so we're just going to overflow the sink there grab our propane cylinder i should have left that in the cubicle really we're going to make our way back into the cubicle and when our target comes along we can then exit the cubicle and render him unconscious i'm just going to let him turn that tap off we don't want him to clear up the puddle though because the puddle will be coming in handy in a few moments so once our target is safely stored up we can shoot him once in the head and that is two targets down so at this point all we have to do is close that door behind us drop our taser into the puddle our target is approaching rapidly but unfortunately because of the propane cylinder let's just move that out of the way we can quickly re-drop our ta uh, taser into the puddle and when the target moves into the puddle we can then trigger the taser he had a very slow reaction to that but that then makes it three targets down so we're just going to retrieve our propane cylinder and we are now going to move on to our next two targets who are both located around the marina area and we're just going to head straight over there now and our first of our remaining two targets will be hopefully on a bench here and there he is so we're just gonna throw our propane cylinder at his feet somewhere just anywhere around here will do unfortunately uh, it has locked onto his head we really don't want to be knocking him out so we'll wait for him to leave and then we'll throw our propane cylinder on the bench that has bounced a long way away let's try that one more time that's much better so once our target goes through his routine of staring out across the ocean there he will return to that bench and we are going to lock pick our way into the boathouse whilst no one is looking and through a gap in the window here we should be able to see the propane cylinder there it is so we're just going to line up our shot with that and all we have to do now is await the return of our target as you can see there are a number of other people who frequent this area so we're just going to wait for that gentleman there to stop looking at the notice boards and pondering his life decisions and when he moves away we can then detonate the propane cylinder and if he doesn't hurry up we are going to miss our opportunity here there we go so he is moving a safe distance our target is about to leave so we're just going to quickly detonate the propane cylinder there and that will deal with target number four so our final target is quite a trek away they're actually in the Kronstad building so luckily enough one we have the right outfit on and two we know a relatively safe route to get there so we're just going to run straight down into the underground car park and over to the b section where there is a camera above the doors if we can just spot it there it is we're going to shoot out that camera and then we're going to make our way up the stairs into the Kronstad building 
there is another camera at the top of the stairs that we will have to deal with uh, it is a little bit more trickier to spot as it is behind a balcony area so it's way up there there it is so we just take that camera out as well and then we can make our way up into the Kronstad conference room which is just to our right here and there are about four people no, no, in this it. room one of which as you can see is our target is so we're going to make our way behind Wild. the whiteboard we're going to select our seeker one reload it we're just going to wait for the gentleman out on the balcony to return and then we're going to use the whiteboard as cover and we're going to shoot our target in the arm with the seeker one there we go he's going to get sick and he's going to make his way to the bathroom just outside and to the right of this room uh, do be aware there are two patrolling guards who uh, make their way around the balcony area and one of them is an enforcer to this outfit they're actually just heading this way now uh, luckily enough we got into the bathroom without having to worry about them so when our target finally joins us we can reintroduce him to whatever meager breakfast he has had we can leave him there we don't have to worry about hiding him in the closet we know that the enforcer guard has just passed so we can now make our way down the corridor we're going to head out the window and up the drain pipe to the upper floor that's to avoid to avoid a camera and an enforcer we're going to make our way through the bathroom and out of the bathroom window and then we're just going to wait for this guard here to finish his cigarette and return to the security office and then we are free to lockpick our way into the helipad and our awaiting helicopter so there we go one more trending contract taken care of and we just have confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we get our silent assassin rating i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video